take us through this man Ranveer Singh. I mean, literally, like, what nectar of life is he inhaling? <laughs> like, what is he on? It's bizarre. So I'll tell you the yeah. thing about Ranveer Singh is that when he's out in the in the world, mm. he is the Ranveer Singh you probably see right um, in interviews yeah. at events and perhaps in some characters box. and sometimes yeah. in characters. Mm. But then Ranveer Singh just vanishes. Really? And he's not like that 24-7. In that day, he will project those 10 to 12 hours and then the other 12 hours, he's vanished. He's quiet, he's listening to music, he's on his own, he's just not going anywhere, he doesn't hang out, at, he doesn't really go to a lot of parties, he has a group of four or five really close friends mm. who he meets, his wife, mm. his family, and he's silent. He'll just vanish, you'll not know where he is. Like, rarely he'll say, okay, let's hang out for an hour mm. when he has a day off the next day. So he is like, he, he believes in conservation of energy and mm. then explosion and just of explodes. It. So he is actually very much two people. Mm. There's that one person that is a silent, quiet, happy with self, introvert. Mm. And then there is an extrovert, an exhibitionist, an absolutely like out there individual. So he is... I'm surprised he's not Gemini because he's really two people and that second person mm. none of y'all will ever meet mm. so he's not like this he's not wired all the time right. he's conserving to explode and that's what he does with every character like I'm sure when he played Padmavat and Baji Rao he had a totally different energy here right. he knew he was kind of um, playing an outwardly character Ranbir Singh is in many ways um, a mystery to many you know, because I feel like that's where his artistry comes from. It comes from that he has a crazy method about how he works. He likes a certain atmosphere that to create on set for anything. He's very particular about things like his eye line or silence on set. Like he's very sound sensitive. So even if like a kilometer away there's something happening, he won't be able to perform. And that is things that you have to make sure that, you know, he's comfortable with. But when he's there and he's delivering, then you're just awestruck because he's gone from Ranveer Singh to Rocky Randhava and then he stayed Rocky Randhava right through the day. Like right through the day he'll talk to you as Rocky. While he's on set? Yeah. Even when the so, camera's not so on? Sometimes even some, some maybe he'll slip here and there but otherwise he's Rocky to everyone. He's talking in that accent. Like, he, yeah, he's saying memory issues. He's like, a memory and everything <laughs> he's saying, hey babes, how's you? Everything is going on. Like that's how he spoke to us right through the film. Wow. And it's not an act, man. Mm. It's him working. He's working even when he's not really on the set shooting the scene. He's working. He sat with me for nearly a month when I was wrecking locations in Delhi. He traveled right through West Delhi, met all the Instagrammers, on uh, met West, West Delhi influencers, West Delhi, um, probably people who got the, uh, we had like uh, uh, Yuvraj Dua, who was actually a content creator who actually gets the West Delhi accent mm. and he sat with them. He even drove around Delhi all the time just getting a feel and vibe, did things that were not necessary at all but he felt the need for his... He once said, let's go to a West Delhi like party hangout place and I was like, okay, what is uh, that? <laughs> uh, some party hangout place in, in West Delhi where lots of like uh, people come right. and like he said I just want to get the feel and the vibe and he, we went he took me and he took Alia and we all went and we were like what the hell are we doing here? actually hip hop is quite big in West Delhi yeah so he yeah, was yeah. he was getting yeah. all that right. he was getting all that it was like literally you know, the words he used some of it just came out of his like whatever you know I feel like when you do a really a serious character like when you're playing a certain kind of character where you feel oh this guy is or this female actor or this male actor or this actor in general has research but when you see a pop culture performance mm. and you feel like what kind of work would he have put in he put in truckloads of work as did Alia the thing is mm. that Ranveer you know has to do much more but Alia was at it with her Bengali mm. like she would just sit 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 with this with this girl called Husna Shabnam who was her dialect mm. coach and she really and she sat through and said you know I don't want to come across annoying in this film mm. because I'm so opinionated and I'm so expressively so that if I come across annoying, you will love, love, love Rocky and you will just get annoyed by me. Right, right. So to become likable. Then you don't want them to get together in the yeah, first place. So yeah, she says, I have to be likable. Yeah. So actually you love Rocky because it's seen through Rani's lens. Like every time she looks at him in a way, you tend to look at him in the same way. When she laughs, you want to laugh. With you her. know what I found e even more incredible and because of the sort of character you wrote Karan is that it's very easy for this man to come across as sleazy. Yeah. You know like this Dilliga Munda yeah. who thinks he can land this girl, right? Yeah. Was that a tough one for you to do? Like, to 
but we were always aware that he had to be like a ball of love. Mm. Like, you know, like he says it right in the first scene when she says that, Aap, you know, you wear your shirt that low and he says, low is good, lower is better. Mm. And he said, like, if I have a sweetheart blouse, ke bare mein kuch ka hota, to ya to ho jana tha, which is true. Yeah. Because yeah. actually, that's the same. If, like, yeah. if he had said, oh, what a sexy blouse, you would have said, how dare you. Right. But she's actually talking about his cleavage as well, right. <laughs> you know, yeah. and, uh, which is like literally to his, to his, like, like literally belly, close yeah. to his belly button. Yeah. And that, that's the way we conceive the character and he said should I be hairy should I be not and I'm like you should be completely greasy like you know like mm. like shaved like whatever to perfection yeah. and then oiled also uh, <laughs> so that you know that you want like emphasis on your yeah. abs you know so he said he said and you want short hair long hair I said I want long hair like it was just I just saw Rocky in this way mm. and then we, we came on like Ken maybe he kind of Dil- well kinda, Delica Ken yeah he is huh? a bit like yeah he was like a little bit had had kinetic energy yeah. so uh, uh, he did and I wanted and Eka totally got the brief so she said open shirts we tried a lot of things we tried the tight shirt silhouette first mm. and then that just didn't work because I said I need to see skin like open shirts so he just wore open shirts right through you know and his buttons were open right through and he was like this is Rocky we finally found it and said okay this is Rocky we went through a lot of trials to kind of get because the look was very critical to the character right I mean you work with Ranveer now and, and Ranveer before that, right? And it's an obvious thing. These are the two top superstars we have yeah. in Bollywood at the moment. Uh, how different is it to direct the two? I know they're completely different personalities. Yeah. Uh, can't be that different from each other. How different, like, tell me through like something that you may have said to him that you will not say to the other when you're directing them on, on a set. I cannot even begin to emphasize how different they mm. both are. Mm. Like there is, the, the one thing they have in common mm. is incredible talent. Other than that, Ranbir is is that he's that guy who will study so hard but come across to school and feel like I don't know what your guys are talking about, like it was an easy breezy day. Mm. He but he will do because I He's that kid who studies really hard and pretends and then he doesn't even pretend actually. He doesn't pretend because he's he never he can't pretend. He's too true Mm. to what he is. Mm. But he is the most relaxed person. He's the most patient human being I know. You can keep him waiting for 14 hours on a set and he won't say a thing. Mm. He does one film at a time and he handles his own dates. Mm. There is no PR, there is no manager, there is nobody around him. Mm. He's on his own, you ask him for dates, Mm. he opens a phone, he has all his own dates, he knows exactly which brands he's doing, Mm. he knows his schedule, he knows his days off, he knows his holidays. Mm. And he he feeds off the filmmaker, he just wants to hang out with the filmmaker, get into the filmmaker's mind and then deliver. When I directed him, we had a thing in Edil. He would say, give me a word for the scene. Mm. And I would give him that word and that's what he would try to get. Mm. So we played that game. He's perhaps played different games with different filmmakers. With me, we had a word game. Mm. He's, I said, embarrassed. I said, jealous. I would say, angry, aggressive, angry. I would say, subservient. I would say words like this and he would totally get because um, Ayan in Edil, as in the character, was uh, was kind of needy of love and also kind of like, you know, needed many, many things um, uh, that weren't being given to him, you know, yeah. including love. Ranveer, on the other hand, is out there working. He like wants to see the world. He yeah. wants to get it from the world, yeah, not the director like, so much. Ranveer is a very much. like director. And he, like, if he has a great director, that film will be like great. Mm. And Ranbir Kapoor has a beautiful sense of detachment. And you know, all spiritual schools of thought teach you that detachment uh, doesn't mean unemotional. Mm. It means you detach after a point. And he can do that as well. He's stoic. Yeah, he can go out of the film. Like many a day on Edil, when I used to walk invariably to a shop, but I'm just kind of, you know, intellectualizing it and saying <laughs> I went for a walk. I was actually going to a departmental store. Gucci but like, yeah, I was, I was going to yeah. Selfridges or something in London. <laughs> but, and I would cross a restaurant and I would see Ranbir eating his meal alone. And I walked it a couple of times and said, why are you eating alone? He said, I wanted to come, eat my meal, go back to sleep. He does that. He doesn't need your company. He doesn't bother you. He wants to hang out, you call him, he'll come, have a drink, perhaps not. Just do his thing. In any production, think that he's like a god, <laughs> like who has descended on their set. Mm, because he's because, always there. Because he's just there anytime you need him. Uh, there is just silence and Ranveer is a division of silence and noise. But he has a totally different process. Both genius artists, mm. both incredible on celluloid, both completely different people. Right, I mean, in this particular case, oh, you mentioned, by the way, outdoor, and I want to ask you. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.